Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. And if you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, thanks for coming again. I say it all the time because I mean it every single time. Um, today's look is more of a summer, spring appropriate type look. Summer is like this close to being here so I'm saying that this is absolutely appropriate for summer as well. Um, it's soft and pretty and not matte, which is different for me because you guys know I love to be matted out. Give me a matte foundation with some matte primer. Anything? Oh, as you guys can see, my backdrop is a little bit different. I was tired of that same gold cloth that I used all the time. And I just wanted to be a little bit more personable and homey. So, ta-da, welcome to my room. Oh, this hair, in case anybody is wondering is from Bella Dream Hair. You guys know that's where I get my hair from, always. This is Brazilian Curly in number two. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe this is a 16 inch closure, 18, 20, and 22 inch bundles. However, this is the hair. I love it. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was a little bit too big, but I just feel like it goes well with my face shape and my freckles and it's super easy you just wet it and you go and it looks like you did your hair um anyway without any further ado if you are interested in seeing how i achieved this look right here then just please keep watching so as usual i'm going to start out by prepping my skin with my nivea post balm shade for men and sensitive and then i'm also going to use my benefit pore professional matte rescue only in my t-zone this is not going to keep me matte but it's going to help out a little bit from there i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelid with my urban decay naked skin concealer and then i'm going to blend it out and set it with a flesh tone eyeshadow I'm using three shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. I'm going to use Hot Fudge, Sherbert, and Hot and Cold. First, I'm going into Sherbert, putting it directly in my crease and blending it out with the Sigma E40 brush. Brush. And then this is the BH Cosmetics regular eyeshadow brush, and I'm putting Hot and Cold all over the lid. I'm blending again, and then I'm going to go into my Morphe M513 brush and put Hot Fudge directly on the outer crease and just buff it up a little bit for dimension. I'm going off camera real quick to do my lashes and liner and then I'll be right back. It got a little blurry here and I didn't realize so just work with me but I am mixing my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation together and then I'm just going to put it all over my face and blend it in with my Beauty Blender. And then from there I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in medium beige and highlight all of the normal areas my forehead down the bridge of my nose under my eye my cupid's bow and also my chin and then just to tone it down i'm going to go back in with my urban decay naked skin concealer over all of the already highlighted areas and then I'm going to blend it out with the same beauty blender, but I'm going to use the pointed side this time instead of the flat side. After that, I'm going to go back in with the flat side and just blend out the edges so there isn't such a harsh line between the regular foundation and the highlight. And then I'm going to set all of the highlighted areas with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. By the way, I'm not baking today because I want my skin to have some luminosity to it. So I'm just going to pout the, pat the powder into my skin so that it absorbs it. <laughs> As 
as always, I'm going to use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in medium tan to set all of the other areas of my face before I go ahead and start bronzing. For bronzer, I'm going to use the CoverGirl bronzer. I can't remember the name of it, but I will list it below. And this is one of the Bling Morphe brushes. I'm just going to do it in my areas that I contour. And it doesn't have to be as neat because this is bronzer. So forehead, temple, cheekbone, and down the jawline. To contour my nose, I'm using a Morphe E17 brush because it's small and I just love how dense it is. It gets right where I need it to. And then to tone it down slightly, I'm just going to dab my beauty blender over it again. I'm going to line my bottom waterline as well as directly underneath the waterline with this Tarte Amazonian Clay Water Liner. And then I'm going to smudge it out with the opposite end of the pencil. I'm going directly into my waterline with this shade called Mermaid by Makeup Geek Cosmetics and I'm using a BH Cosmetics brush to do so. And then I'm just going to blend it out with Sherbert using the Sigma E30 brush. By the way, these are our Dell Wispy Lashes that I put on earlier and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to blend my lashes with the falsies and also to put the mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the BH Cosmetics Blushed Neutral Palette and I'm going to take those two shades that I just showed you and put them directly on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm going to take Max Old Darling Highlighter and put it directly on the highest point of my cheekbone, my temple area, my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and also the tip of my nose. This is a Sigma F35 brush. And then for lipstick today, I'm using ColourPop Cosmetics Lipstick Westy. First I'm going to line my lips and then I'm going to fill it all the way in. It's like a beautiful baby pink. And then after that, I'm going to use a random gloss. I believe it was a Rimmel gloss. And then lastly, I'm going to go over that with Coco Loco just so it doesn't look so bright on my face. Using a darker liner makes the transition a little bit easier when you have a darker skin tone. And lastly, I'm going to set everything with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. This is the completed look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you liked. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the thumbs up button. Until next time, guys.